We're having Japaguri x -Bars, my gen ed or general education class. And then I'll be doing some other homework for a little bit. Hello. <laughs> it is Tuesday, March 17th, 11.36 a.m. I woke up around like 9-ish. Hate breakfast, watch a movie, and now I'm here. Yesterday, all I did was literally sleep all day, get up only to eat, and go back to sleep. I got back on Sunday around 2. I slept all day, ate. Then yesterday was Monday, did the whole sleeping and eating thing. I'm finally gonna tackle the mess that is my belongings. Just an update on my part. Um, I've been fine. I've just been coughing a little bit, but the thing is... My nails gone. When I visited HOHS before we had been kicked off campus, they said it was bronchitis. So I don't have coronavirus. Also because it's a wet cough, not a dry cough. And I don't have any of the other symptoms. But regardless, I have been quarantining. This is quarantine day two. Because um, we did have confirmed cases at Harvard before we left. So all the Harvard students should be quarantining anyways when we get home. Um, for the recommended 14 days for the incubation period of the virus. So if you're a fellow Harvard student and you're not quarantining, I will personally come find you on Zoom and I will virtually slap you. <laughs> Please quarantine. That's pretty much it. Um, I feel a little bit like I've just returned from the dead. And then overall, getting my life together. I have so many emails to check. I will keep you guys posted. Okay guys, will not be showing my face, but I just spent the past few hours cleaning up my room, finally unpacking my suitcase. And overall, just make it a little bit more homey. I can get some sleep now, it's like 1am, and then I can really get back into reorganizing my life after the hecticness of last week. So yeah, good night. <laughs> Hello guys. It is now Wednesday morning. It's 11 a.m. I took a shower um, and then ate a really quick breakfast of cereal because my mom said she's going to make me and my sister chapaguri from Parasite um, for lunch. That's good. <laughs> I have my orange juice. Now I'm going to be looking at my school emails because there are a lot of those. Yesterday I went through my other email accounts. Now I'm going to be going through my school email and looking through the emails there. I'll hopefully get through that. And then I think maybe try to go through my bullet journal, start fresh for my online semester game plan. <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to get a lot of that planning done. Like I said, I haven't been too worried about academics, um, just because it is still my spring break, even though I am at home. And I am still doing online school. I am, however, a little bit concerned because I do feel like I'm forgetting about some assignments. So I feel like I should really get on top of that as soon as I can. That's going to be the plan for most of the today. And then I clean my room, as you guys saw yesterday. And then if there are any assignments I should be working on, I'll probably start that today. So yeah. <laughs> Lunchtime. Oh my gosh, it fogged up. In the Lee household. We're having Japaguri as it comes out in Parasite. <laughs> oh yeah, we're not eating meat for Lent. Look at that. Oh my god, we're doing it.
guys, I just want to say this while I saw a battery because I accidentally left my battery at school. Or not battery, charger at school. So my new one's coming on like Sunday, Monday-ish. Uh, my battery's flashing, but I just want to let you guys know I've been planning for my classes, which start again on Monday. It's currently Friday. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys soon, and then I'll let you guys know what my new schedule and all that is for doing online classes. Hope everyone's safe. Um, I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but yeah, bye. I love you. Okay, guys, it's Saturday, March 21st. My new camera battery and charger and all that came in the mail much sooner than expected, which is great. So I get to um, film a little bit more for you guys. I think what I want to do is make like an official video of sorts where I kind of break down my online classes, studying, schedule, slash routine, and maybe like a real time study with me now that I mean I'm at home so um, I really don't have much else to do um, besides just classes and now YouTube so that'll be fun. So just kind of to give you a little bit of a preview about what those videos kind of look like. just want to show you so my classes have been really good about giving us as much information as we need in terms of keeping up with the the updated schedule now that we're all online so this is for my life sciences class they made this entire schedule with all the completed due dates and all that and they also have a going online page where they just outlined all the most important things that we need to know. It's also like that for my other classes, of course, but I'm not gonna show you that right now. So that's just like one example. Um, also, sorry about my nails. What I did was I have four classes this semester. So I wrote down like the different classes, the fact that I'm now going online. So this is like my reset. Expos, my gen ed or general education class, physical sciences, life sciences. I wrote down the most pressing changes that were like made immediately right after we found out we're going online mind you this is after like spending all this past week just like lounging around and doing nothing because this was technically my spring break i was sleeping a lot just like relaxing watching netflix that was really good but obviously now i have to get back on top of it because classes do start again next week so i just rewatched. i pretty much handled um my life sciences class, like catching up for that. I rewatched the lectures, uh, took notes, just finished my homework assignment that's due on Monday. So I'm feeling good. Now I'm going to tackle my gen ed because I have midterm paper due tonight that I need to finish up. I'm probably going to tackle uh, PS11 or my physical sciences class in terms of rewatching lectures and retaking notes the way, that, the way that I did for my life sciences class. And then I should be good. Have the window open. That's like the packages that just came with my camera stuff. This is my little setup, as I'm sure you guys have seen in a past video. So yeah, I will probably try to make a more formal video addressing my new schedule and stuff. I mean, once I have it really figured out. I hope everyone's doing well. I have been living in my PJs, as I'm sure you can tell. And it's been great. I will talk to you guys again very soon. Stay hydrated, drink water eat good food, get lots of rest. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Six feet. <laughs> Puppy. Yeah, it's cold. Oh, God. Hello, guys. So, it is Monday, March 23rd. First day. Sorry, I'm typing in. First day of classes. Um, my laptop right here, and I'm just gonna put on very. Do I want to put on makeup? Oh, well, I have a video call later, so I should. It is 10:14. My first class is at 10:30. But like I said, I do have a video call later, so I want to at least look somewhat nice for that. It's for the lab that I'm working at. Well, I went off at like 8:30. I woke up around nine. <laughs> I ate breakfast, took out the trash, did some dishes. Um, made some coffee, then took a shower, like did all that stuff. I haven't done makeup in like ages, <laughs> ages. When I say ages, I mean ages. <laughs> Just 
just finished my makeup and my hair is still wet from the shower but I have a lecture in like two minutes <laughs> so today I have PS11 um so I'm gonna go to lecture recordings hopefully it'll be there I could technically watch this anytime however I want or I wanted to if possible keep my um schedule as close to normal as i could so i could technically watch this anytime i want but like i said i just want to try doing it while i can considering i'm in the same time zone and all that two masses fell through the gravitation field and in particular he realized that the and then of course he could apply the same system to capturing light then chapter three we looked at the first law of thermodynamics, and of course, uh, as we... Update. It's 11.30. If I were to have started at 10.30 and stayed on track, I would have 15 minutes left. But I paused it at like 20 minutes and I've just been doing other stuff. So, <sighs> this is gonna be fun. Okay, hello. So I completely forgot to record that video call, but um, I just spoke with the postdoc who I'm working with in my lab. So I work, or I guess now I'm working remotely, <laughs> at the um, the Martino Center for Brain Imaging at Massachusetts General Hospital. And I'm working in Dr. Anastasia Yindicki's lab under Dr. Kara Moffey. Um, Kara's the best. She's so helpful. So basically, um, I am going to try to continue working remotely from home. She's going to be sending me files and literature that I need. I'm going to be picking um, a white matter bundle in the brain to kind of map out the connection using a program called TrackVis. And so I'm going to be working on that slowly. We're going to be doing video calls. We're using Microsoft Teams um, so I can communicate with her and the rest of the lab. That's what I just had my call on. That was at three. And now I also have to put in an application to get summer, an application to get summer funding so I could maybe stay on campus over the summer and continue doing research in person fingers crossed if um you know world events don't interfere with that possibility so i'm just gonna quickly take maybe like 10 15 minutes to look at that make sure everything's set up in terms of the files that i need and then i'll be doing some other homework for a little bit and then uh, i think doing something with my sister we'll see you i'll let you know hi guys so I, ooh, let me show you actually. I got the literature for my lab PI. It's just a folder with a bunch of files. Very cool. And the files are just different research papers and publications that are related to diffusion tractography, which is the technique or method that is used to take scans of the brain um, and map out these connections. So the one that she wants me to read is this one. Um, and I want to be completely transparent about like all this stuff just because it's very I feel like I'm, I, I would have been interested in this You know when I was in high school or whatever. So why not what she wants me to do is read through this and by Atlas It's basically like this really comprehensive report. I guess about different bundles in the brain. So just There you go It's just very very long like dense so i'm gonna be looking through that and she wants me as i said before to pick out two to three bundles that i might be interested in researching we'll go from there see how we can try to make this work considering this is all being conducted remotely <laughs> and yeah so now what i'm going to be doing is readings for my x boss writing class so this is called consider the lobster and then this one farm fox experiment what i usually do when i do the readings is i print them out um but now because i mean i'm gonna have to be printing a lot of stuff out now that all my classes are online and at home really would rather not use up too much you know printer paper and ink if i can so i'm probably just going to um highlight on the document and then 
probably jot down notes in a notebook so that when we do have the in-class discussions online uh when we're like video calling um i'll be able to have that ready so that's like so long as i have a general understanding and i can talk about it probably start uh a homework assignment due wednesday again today's monday and then relax for a little bit because it's like 4 40 right now um and then i will maybe start editing this and probably start working on summer funding application it's been a really good day so far i feel like i've been productive but not too overwhelmed and yeah so that's pretty much it Timing correction, smooth the data to remove some noise, um, bandpass uh, filtering in the temporal. They show in G how the overall total depression score differed. So um, there's quite a bit of overlap. It's Tuesday, March 24th. I think you just saw um, snippets of my conversation with the lab team that I work with. It was my lab meeting, it was like an hour and a half long. Um, and now I'm watching a lecture for my LS1B class. And now you guys will probably get to watch me uh, take the notes. And I think that'll be it for this one. So yeah, thanks for watching um, after this little montage sped up study clip. Um, that'll be it for this video. So yeah, see you guys soon.